Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. 5.49 in the morning, this is Howard Hoffman from WABC, and we've been playing the music of John Lennon all morning long. We've been keeping you posted all night long. A lot of us have been up all night long uh, trying to uh, piece together all the information uh, concerning the shooting of John Lennon. And uh, we'll have a WABC news update coming up in about five minutes from right now. I want to remind you that WABC keeps you informed of the latest traffic conditions with shadow traffic. Weekday mornings with Dan Ingram and afternoons with Bob Cruz. Shadow traffic brought to you in part by Getty Oil. Getty Oil would like to see everyone get more miles for their money. So please, drive with care. I don't... Oh, these are perilous times. We're threatened by roaring inflation. <laughs> Maybe a little later. Remember FDIC? Okay, it's going to be mostly cloudy today with a chance of rain towards evening, high around 50. Periods of rain likely tonight, possibly mixed with snow before ending tomorrow morning. Low tonight, 30 to 35. Partial clearing, turning colder tomorrow afternoon, high around 40. Alec for Thursday, partly sunny, very cold. It's cloudy in New York right now and 47 degrees at 77 WABC. You're about one minute away from a WABC news update. <laughs> Rice Audio, you'll find a complete selection of brands, tuners, receivers, and speakers. Rice Audio, they've built a 29-year reputation of integrity, reliability, and knowledge. And at Rice, you can see all the major brands of audio and video equipment and accessories at the best prices. All major credit cards are welcome at Rice, 115 West 40th Street here in Manhattan. Call 212-575-8600. And remember, it's Morant's for quality, and it's Rice for price. <laughs> Okay, Dan Ingram's going to be coming up in about uh, six minutes from right now here at New York's radio station. 77 WABC, of course, the WABC News Department will uh, keep you posted if any new developments, if anything uh, new comes up regarding the John Lennon shooting. And uh, that's it for me. I'll be back again tonight at midnight. Have yourself a good day. Hope it's a productive one. Thank you both for listening. And right now, the WABC News Update. Here's John Maher. Good morning. John Lennon, a legend while he was alive, is dead. He was shot down for no apparent reason in front of his apartment house last night, the Dakota on Central Park West and 72nd Street. We have more now from WABC's Kathleen Maloney. Lennon's alleged killer is 25-year-old Mark David Chapman. He will also gain a measure of immortality as the man who killed John Lennon, who with the group he formed, the Beatles, helped mold the customs and mores of the Western world during the 1960s. Chapman is a native of Hawaii. Police either don't know or won't discuss any possible motive. WABC's Gus Engelman and other reporters talked to one of the first policemen on the scene. Somebody had been shot, obviously. There was bullet holes in the windows. And, uh, bullet holes in the windows where, officer? Inside the building there, into the manager's office. The and then we, uh, another radio car that was already on the scene had a suspect in custody. We ran into the office, and uh, he was laying on the floor. You say he was face down. Did you know who it was? No, I didn't. Was there was any efforts made to revive him? What was done at the scene for him? I just turned him over, and uh, I saw he was hit pretty bad. And we moved him in a radio car to uh, Roosevelt Hospital. Uh, as far as I know, he was unconscious. And how about Yoko? She was hysterical. WABC News Time, 555. It's 47 degrees and cloudy in New York. More on the Lennon death coming up. And Marshalls, you like our point of view. After the news of John Lennon's death filtered out, reporter Shelley Sunstein st stood in front of the Dakota where more than 1,500 Beatle and Lennon fans gathered. Okay. Several thousand people are outside the Dakota singing the song that most personifies John Lennon. They're holding up their hands in, in the peace symbol of the 60s. A woman has just laid down a bouquet of flowers in front of the gates here at the Dakota. It's as if people don't know what else to do with their grief, so they've gathered outside the apartment where John Lennon lived with his wife, Yoko, and son, Sean. 
Sid Bernstein was the promoter who brought the Beatles to America. At that time, Bruce Morrow was a disc jockey here at WABC, and Rick Sklar was the program director. Bernstein reminisces about the Beatles' first big concert. I remember when the Beatles were at the Warwick getting ready to do Shea Stadium in 65. Rick Sklar and Bruce Morrow asking me to arrange an interview, an exclusive interview, for your radio network which I did because Rick Sklar and Bruce Morrow have been very, very friendly and helpful to me in my early career and arranging this interview in their, in their room, at the, in their suite at the, at the Warwick. That memory is an exciting one and one that, you know, I'd forgotten for a moment, but you just reminded me about ABC and that exclusive radio interview back in the Mark Boccaccio is the man who played John Lennon in the Beatlemania show, which recently closed after two years on Broadway. Boccaccio felt as though he knew John Lennon intimately, even though he never met him. He feels bad for John's son, Sean. Very sad, very sad for Yoko, extremely. For his child, he's been a house husband for the last five years. And I'm extremely sad that his uh, son will have to hear this news tonight or tomorrow. And so John Lennon is dead at 40, just as he was beginning a new career. He was shot to death by Mark David Chapman of Hawaii. Nobody knows why. Ironically, Lennon was coming back home from putting the finishing touches on his new album. John? Kathy, WABC News is informed that the man accused of murdering John Lennon, Mark David Chapman, is now at the main police headquarters building in one police plaza. It was rushed downtown from the West 82nd Street Station House. Chapman's described by one police officer as a wacko. Flatly, police in Honolulu say Chapman bought the gun used at Charter Arms 38 six weeks ago in a gun shop only a block from the Honolulu police station. Chapman has no record in Hawaii. He's lived there since 1977. Police say he may have come from Alabama. On the WABC scoreboard, none of the local clubs saw action. In Monday Night Football, Miami upset New England 16-13. to A 23-yard field goal in overtime was the difference. WABC News Time 559. The weather after Joe Nolan with WABC Shadow Traffic Report. Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you, John. If you're heading northbound on the New Jersey Turnpike on the eastern spur, the right lane, the right lane is closed for construction. This between 15E and 16E. There are no bans and restrictions. Everything else in the city moving pretty much right along just the way it ought to. Alternate side of the street parking in effect in all five boroughs. And if you're a PATH customer this morning, again, really not too much of a problem. Earlier yesterday morning, we had that bridge stunk. That has been fixed. And and Bath is okay, and now they say the southbound west side highway is a moderate from the George Washington Bridge down through the 70s. Northbound, however, at 96th Street, we have a disabled vehicle in the right lane, squeeze left, and at this point, it is just a cautionary measure. So that is shadow traffic for WABC New York, New York's radio station, and now here is Dan Ingram and the weather. All right, sir. Thank you kindly. Mm -hmm. All right. You're, you're, you're kind of depressed, too, you sound like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, you know, I, I, that's, I was... Young. I, I, it's funny. We were just talking about this about two and a half, three weeks ago. I was about six years old, like I said, and, and it was. Uh, yeah. I, I'll never forget it as long as I live. When they came here to the city, I, it was it was the really like the first thing that I ever remember totally. You know. Yeah. And what were you doing out there? Um, I, it, where? When you were uh, at that particular time when they came to the city? I lived, uh, well, I didn't have anything. I mostly, and this is the truth, sat in front of the radio and, and listened to WA Beatles C at that point right. and, uh, mm -hmm. and listened to you and, and, and your friends do, do, um, do what you did so well when they were in the city. I don't know whether you remember it or not, but uh, the Beatles were in a hotel and Scott Muni and uh, Cousin Bruce, Cousin were, Bruce yeah. were over at the hotel with them and I was in the studio. And... Uh, uh, Bruce hung a microphone out the window, and I don't know where this tape is. Somebody somewhere must have it. The Museum of Broadcasting, I know, has a copy of it, because they have mine. Uh, Howard Hoffman has time, but he has a copy. And uh, what we did was we asked the, the folks uh, out in the street, which was about 10,000 kids, to sing along with our jingles. Mm -hmm. And the reaction was rather strange, because a friend of mine was uh, working for the New York Times at the time, and he shouldn't have been there, because New York Times didn't cover any of that. They were uh, the nose too high in the air to cover the Beatles. <laughs> and uh, he had me going by. He said the biggest problem is the cops were looking at each other in disbelief because all of a sudden 10,000 kids would start singing, Your World Looks Great with 77 WABC. And then they'd stop. And then they'd listen to the little transistors. <laughs> and then they'd sing the jingle again. 
And somewhere is a tape of 10,000 kids singing along with the jingles. It's just unreal. But that was uh, my own personal experience of that particular day, which was back in 1964, which is longer ago than I want to remember. Yeah, I can remember. That was the first time my parents let me stay up past 7 o'clock. Yeah? Is when I watched them on the, um, the Ed Sullivan show that night. Oh, my goodness. And it's just, it's, it's amazing. It's, you know, you wonder. Yeah. What? I know what you mean. You just, you just really have to wonder. Well, all of a sudden, we're a little bit older. That's the problem, you know? Yeah. Okay, we'll check with you at 6.15. Yes, sir. I got the weather to do here. Mostly cloudy today with a chance of rain toward evening. Temperatures around 50. Periods of rain likely tonight. Possibly mixed with snow before ending tomorrow morning. The low tonight, 30 to 35. Partial clearing turning colder tomorrow afternoon with a high of about 40. Friday, partly sunny, very cold. Chance of snow flurries on Friday, and it's going to be sunny and cold on Saturday, too, according to the long-range forecast. we got 47 cloudy WABC degrees in the Ingram thing. And how ironic that this was starting over. I'd like to get... I guess I, I view this personally, but this has happened to me many times over the years, and it always hits me the first time I say it. That was the late John Lennon. The Army announces college benefits of more than 25... Through the holidays at the Hamburgers. Cloudy today with a chance of rain toward evening. High of about 50. Periods of rain likely tonight. Possibly mixed with snow before ending tomorrow morning. Low tonight in the 30s. Partial clearing turning colder tomorrow afternoon with a high of about 40. The outlook for Thursday, partly sunny and very cold. It's 47 degrees. Uh, let me take a quick check here. Yeah, I was about, no, according to this is 63. That isn't right. This must be an old forecast. Ah, uh, now that's 10 p.m. We're not too terribly together this morning. Oh, yeah, it is. 47 degrees and cloudy at WABC. You need a hot, hearty dinner, and you're in a hurry. At Sears. Good nights for the kids. Goodbyes for you. It's nine minutes past six at 77. WABC, New York's radio station. The thing about the Beatles that always struck me is that an awful lot of their music was just plain happy. It had a happy sound to it, regardless of the lyric content, like this one. The Beatles with the late John Lennon at 12 minutes past 6 on WABC. It's 47 and cloudy right now. I'll have the weather for you in just a minute. Mr. Lee A. Iacocca, chairman of the new Chrysler Corporation. When high interest rates keep America from buying the fuel-efficient cars it really needs, it's time to do something about it. Starting right now, when you buy a new 81 U.S. built Chrysler, Plymouth, or Dodge passenger car on credit, you can deduct 6% from the full sticker price of the car, including options. Because Chrysler thinks the prime rate is 6% too high. That means once you've made your best deal, you get $325 to $1,000 direct from Chrysler, or you can apply it to your down payment. Now that 6% will be adjusted up or down, depending on a significant change in the prime interest rate. If you need a quality-built, fuel-efficient car, and high interest rates have kept you away, see your Dodge or Chrysler Plymouth dealer and get $325 to $1,000 in cash, direct from Chrysler. See your dealer for details. Chrysler can't lower the interest rate, but we can help you handle it. Now is the time to buy a new car and get a check from Chrysler to boot. Thank you, Mr. I. Uh, mostly cloudy today with a chance of rain toward evening. High of about uh, 50 or so. Some rain likely tonight, possibly mixed with snow before ending tomorrow morning. Tonight, 30 to 35. Partial clearing, turning colder tomorrow afternoon, getting no higher than about 40. Thursday, partly sunny, very cold. Down into the teens at night with some snow flurries overnight Friday. And then clearing up on the week weekend for Saturday and Sunday. It's 47. It's cloudy at WABC. Come taste the pleasure. is the proud taste of California. Because ever since Captain Gustav Niebaum founded the Inglenook Vineyards over a century ago, Inglenook wine has always been known for his commitment to uncompromising taste. Come, experience the taste respected around the world. Inglenook. Sophisticated, appreciated. The proud taste of California. Inglenook Vineyards, Rutherford, Napa Valley, California. 
Yes, thank you very large. It's time to check out traffic at, uh, well, it's coming up to 6.15 on WABC. Joe Nolan with WABC. Shout out traffic. What's happening? Well, troops, still at 10. If you're heading uh, northbound on the FDR Drive, right around 96th Street, we have a disabled vehicle in the right lane. Again, please be very, very careful as you head up there. He is in a bad spot. Alternate side of the street parking in effect in all five boroughs this morning. So, again, you've got 45 minutes to get up and move it. And elsewhere, no real uh, serious problems at all. Traffic moving right along that path. That bridge has uh, been uh, fixed and everything should be rolling across there without much of a hassle this morning. Yeah. And uh, down on the Victory Bridge, uh, which is over Route 35, all over the Raritan River in New Jersey, that was open at about 6 o'clock for about 12 minutes. They just closed it, so you're going to have some slow traffic around there. So that is shadow traffic for WABC and I am Joe Nolan. I sincerely hope so. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we've had an imposter in here. <laughs> we'll catch you at 6.30. Okay, Dan. Okay, right now we got the weather in just a minute. Welcome to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Can I take your order? Right. Uh, some chicken, please. Yes, sir. We do chicken right at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Well, then I guess I'll have some of those fixins, too. They look right good. We not only do chicken right, we do all those delicious fixins right, too. And I'd like my order right away, please. Of course. We serve you right away at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Notice how fast your meal is ready and how clean our eating area is? Yeah, you're right. Everything's right, including the price, sir. You see, we can still give you a real good fresh original recipe chicken dinner at a low price. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. No, sir. At Kentucky Fried Chicken, we try to do everything right, including our prices. That's why people say... It's so nice to be so nice. So good about the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do everything right. And you're right, because this is the best chicken I ever had. Now, how do I get downtown? At the corner, sir. Take a left. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, the weatherman says cloudy today with a chance of a rain or two, a rain shower or two towards evening. Temperatures around 50. Periods of rain likely tonight. Mixed with snow before ending tomorrow. Tonight, 30 to 35. Partial clearing. Colder tomorrow afternoon. The high about 40. And then down into the teens overnight. Thursday, into the 20s. Daytimes, teens at night. Same thing on Friday with a chance of snow flurries. Clear on Saturday for the weekend. It's 47. It's cloudy at WABC. WABC. We talked with Rick Scar. Rick was the uh, program manager here for many years while uh, I was on in the afternoon, and uh, we were having a whole lot of Beatle things happening. As a matter of fact, uh, I, I remember one of the things that I walked into Rick's office one day and said, uh, listen, I, we, they got so many hits on the chart. Why don't I start each show?